Hello guys and welcome to TechWolf. In this video I'm going to show you how to create a subdomain for your domain name. So as I will show you how it is being reflected in your file system. And we will be creating a subdomain for bever.ie. And as you can see here I already created one subdomain which is first.bever.ie. So in short what is subdomain? Subdomain is that you before your URL or unified resource locator or domain name you can add another name with dot separator first dot bever dot ie and you can add any name instead of this first and once you will create a subdomain it is creating another folder which is separate website where you can create a separate website and I will show you also this in file system now let's go into cpanel and here in cpanel just scroll down until you will find these domains and here click on domains and to create your subdomain here in the right corner you will see create a new domain just click in there and here type in whatever name you want to use I will be using second and dot and then your URL or your domain name mine was bever.ie and my new subdomain will be second like I mentioned I am just adding this name you can use whatever name you want and then dot and then my current domain name my current domain name is bever.ie so my subdomain will be second.bever.ie here make sure that this checkbox is not checked this share document root you don't need that and click on submit and your subdomain will be created but where you can add files to this domain name if we go back now to cpanel just click on your cpanel's main logo this will redirect you to cpanel's homepage. here in file manager click in at the very first tab and here you will see these domain names one is first.bever.ie this is my one subdomain and then I have this second one and file system for the second one is this one as you can see here guys if we click in into second.bever.ie here I can create a file if I click here on the left top corner on plus file I can create a file let's say index.html or index.php file let's create this file then let's click on this file and here let's click on edit and click on edit again and here in this file you can write html or php code I will just write hello world and let's save this file here on the right top corner to click save changes and you can close this file then let's go back to our domain second.bever.ie if we click it you will see that here is now this hello hello world which is in this file index.php so this is now currently your root folder or in my case it is my root folder and I can add here WordPress like all files and create absolutely new website here for WordPress and it will be acting fully independently and your main domain files or in my case this is bever.ie they are always located in this folder which is public underscore html that is the root directory for your main domain website. So yes guys, hope that you found this video useful. If you did, leave a like, share this video, subscribe to the channel if you are new and see you in the next one.